Oh man. She was out of there, dude. So just like that, the Dallas has been finished. The Dallas trip is over. We did a whole lot more than I have filmed, but we've been we've been really busy and I have uh, we've just been doing a lot. So I haven't had so much time to film. I've been just trying to just enjoy and get stuff done. So yeah, now we're off to Amarillo and then Oklahoma and then Montana. A lot more driving. <laughs> So, I am here with my niece, Ophelia. What's your name? Ophelia. 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 And how old are you, Opie? Oh, four years old. When do you turn five? Well, next week. Next week? Yeah. What do you mean, next week? If we want a week to climb out to vibe. <coughs> What's my name? Uh, Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack, that's right, I am an uncle. Imagine that. So we're currently in Amarillo, playing with some toys, having a blast of a time. We met up with Ben and Tate, my half-sister and brother-in-law. They're good fun. We don't get the opportunity to see them often, so we really gotta make time and press for uh, a chance to get together. I don't think she... I wouldn't go there. Jack, I just got my driver's license. That's right. I just passed my driver's test today, and I, I got my license. I got my legitimate driving license. Jack Swallows. I'm, I am. I think I already did. You have people. You have all the on there that get offended and stuff like that. Probably. They probably exist. Hold up. Hold up. I just woke up. It's the very next day. What the heck is going on? We're in Amarillo, Texas, and two days ago, it was 95 degrees outside. And it's snowing. It's actually snowing. It's so pretty though. Oh, look at the crows in the tree. I'm in, like I said, the Nikes. They're not gonna hold up. Oh my gosh, it's such a wet snow. Uh. All right, well, I think I've had enough. It's about all I can take. There's gonna be a lot more of it later on. Oh, my hands are cold. Oh. Oh. Hello. Good to see you. We made a quick stop in Oklahoma to visit the Primrose family and celebrate dad's 54th birthday. The Primrose family, Madeline and her folks, it was good fun. I think Finn particularly liked it. I don't know a whole lot about that. You'll have to go to see Finn's channel. Then we picked up on the road again, going through Denver, Colorado and Wyoming to visit one of my most favorited places in the world, Montana. We are stuck. Blade this and then we'll get right out of here. It won't be nothing. We are stuck. You're gonna have to get the muck boots on, Jack. Yeah, I know. It might be under this seat over here. What? I need those muck boots, what I need. I'm gonna see if I can get them. Well, we're stuck. This is fun. The snow, snow is deep. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna find these real quick. I'm gonna put you guys away. We call them muck boots. They're this real big boot. Oh, I got snow on my feet. Okay. Me and Finn walked back down to the house and I got this tractor up and running. This is the tractor we used to grade the road and to get things unstuck. Dad drove the tractor. I was in the car and we made it work. <laughs> it, it, it's not looking good, but snow. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Yeah. Woohoo. Dude. All right, let's take that line off and get down to the house. Woo we did it. Good job. We're unloading everything from the back because we brought a lot of stuff with us here to Montana. And this is our house. We bought this house like 10 years ago and we visit it every now and then. She's got character. 
She's pretty old, but she's got character. <laughs> so that's what we'll be for the next week or two or three, I'm not sure. I know we're doing a little trip to Oregon and Washington in the next couple days to look at some vans. Because we didn't, we weren't able to find any coming up here. But yeah, I'm going to unpack all this stuff. It's going to be good. Mm, it's cold. It's so cold. All right, most of the big things are done. I did a boo-boo, though. I, uh... Didn't realize the tractor's front tire was deflated. I took off. So now it's all messed up. Chain broke. The chain that was on the tire broke, so we gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. <laughs> We're not different. Other than that tire malfunction, the driveway is graded. Everything's getting in better shape and the car is completely unloaded. I slept like a rock, but now it's time to get in the hot tub. Oh, okay, it's kind of cold. Open this up. I know I've been kind of quiet. We've got a special guest arriving. Now let me give you a little backstory. Let me interrupt you right there. I'm sorry about the hot tub film that I got. The audio is kind of terrible. The lighting is pretty bad. I don't want to give backstory just yet. I'll do that with her. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, along with the video. Also, real quick, did you guys see I got new glasses? I think they're okay. They're a different vibe than the other ones I was wearing. I don't know if I like them a whole lot. I've always wanted glasses like these. Anyways, continue. Guess who decided to join me? Gluten Morgan. I also wanted to say that I never really appreciated this place as much when I was smaller. Because we've had this ranch for, I don't know, 13 years or something. And I never really have been as appreciative as I am now of it. It's just as I grow older and I, I get wiser, I start to really realize how valuable this place is. What do you think about being back at the cabin? I think it's great. Ben. It's killing me. I think it's good. I like it. I can side with Jack on what he said. And pretty soon I'm going to be buying a van, probably. You know, I'll probably eventually build a house up here for my family to live in. Who knows? It's far in the future. I was thinking the same thing, because I noticed the difference between here and the city. It's so quiet here. Get off me. What are you doing? Thumbnail. Look at the camera. This is not a good thumb, Bro, what is going on? Okay. It's time to get on a roll. We got stuff to do. Come on, boy. It is currently 7.30 and we're about to be leaving soon to go to the airport. The reason we're picking Kate up as well is because she decided to stay another week at the Primrose house. Oh. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi, Dad. My backpack is in the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good to see you again. Hi. <laughs> How's it feel to be in Montana? It feels crazy. It's so much different than Texas, obviously, but like, it's so crazy to be at like the foot of mountains. I got yeah. Back so, to me. I haven't introduced you yet. Who are you? I'm Mackenzie Morgan. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about myself other than the fact that I'm from Texas. We've known each other for a really long time, but... Kind of. Kind of, but now we're kind of... Back together and what, what are you doing time. here? I was invited by you guys to come here, thankfully, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I humbly accepted after a lot of thought. I was thinking, do I really want to come here and spend a long time with them? So the question it was, it was is, really tough. So the question is, is are y'all boyfriend and girlfriend? We're well, figuring that one out. To him. Really, <laughs> Jack? Get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's he gonna do when that when he goes to Tonga? What's he gonna do? Well, what's gonna ha it's gonna be some heartbreakers. Stay tuned for some heartbreakers. And I need a snowboard. The snowboard I have is too small, so I'm gonna look if I can get a bigger one. I need to get some yeah. We went to a secondhand store because I really don't see the point in buying brand new gear. The season's almost coming to an end, and plus, it's just too expensive for me. So you've never been skiing, mm -mm. snowboarding? Never. Okay. Jack's a good teacher. First time, yeah. He's mm -hmm. a very good coach. We'll see about that. I'll be the judge. If he does good, you have to give him a tip. <laughs> Big tip. I found everything I was looking for, so we checked out, and then it was on the road to Mikasa. 
I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Stay tuned for next week because I'm going to be going into detail about how me and McKinsey actually met. Bye-bye.